From the north side of the San Francisco Bay to Singapore, welcome to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio with your host, business owner, lecturer, author, master trainer, Tiaja, with over 30 years of experience in the health and fitness industry. He will challenge the fitness between your ears. So prepare your mind, body, and soul for the revolution of self-care, the evolution of fit, with real talk about real people, real health, real fitness, and the real deal behind our present illness culture. Real talk every time, all the time. Get weekly insights on how to shift your thinking, emoting, eating, training, hydrating, goal setting, and resting for you, the everyday athlete. You can cheat your fitness, but you can't steal your health flow. It's Tuesday, 9 a.m. Let's flow. Welcome to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio, where we challenge the fitness between your ears. I'm your host, Tiacha. Did you know the average person spends 17 years of their lives dieting? Now think about that. 17 precious years of life, and for what? A girlish figure, an athletic physique? Or is it simpler than that? Maybe people are spending so much of their adult lives in the pursuit of something they once had, or never had, or perhaps something they've always wanted. In a country that has created an entire subculture around thinness and youthfulness, there's little wonder. Still, the latest research suggests that only 2% of all dieters ever attain any real success in losing their body fat, let alone achieve sustainable and permanent change. Now, I get it. Losing weight, even a few pounds, can seem like an uphill battle. Most of my clients find me when they've reached their tipping point. In their minds, They've tried everything, but nothing seems to work. All they want is to move the needle on the scale just a little because, let's face it, like most people, they've been brainwashed to believe that losing fat is tantamount to achieving health and happiness. It isn't. Just watch any episode of shows like The Biggest Loser or Dr. Oz and see for yourself how emotional losing body fat is for so many. So, just what is body fat? You know, I used to ask my clients this question all the time and very few, if any, had an answer. All they knew was they didn't want any of it on their bodies. But what they failed to understand is that there's a difference between having body fat versus having a fat body. Now, spoiler alert, fat is not the enemy, particularly to your body. Your body doesn't see fat as an adversary. Your body uses fat, actually, much like we use the internet or social media and antivirus software. Fat is the body's backup fuel system, which also has administrator permissions. It is a highly advanced communication system as well as a security system for the body. Now, there are two major processes in the body which involve body fat. The scientific term for the process by which our bodies make fat is called lipogenesis, while the breakdown of fat to release fatty acids into the circulation is called lipolysis. Most people are only concerned with the latter, lipolysis, but I don't want to get too scientific here. However, as I do with all my clients. I need you to understand the basic processes and terminology associated with your body. See, I believe that the more you know about your body, the greater the opportunity for you to change it. What makes losing body fat such a challenge is your body doesn't ever lose its fat per se. It shrinks fat cells and relocates them, sort of like moving to a new address while living in the same neighborhood. What is also unique about fat cells is their ability to store fat and lots of it. Fat cells, also called adipocytes, can expand their volume more than 1,000 times normal size by pushing other cell contents off to the side. But this is what you also didn't know about your body fat. Your body fat is an organ, and that organ is made up of fat tissue, also known as adipose tissue. And this is precisely why you can't just get rid of fat no matter how long you stay on the treadmill. Listen carefully. Fat tissue isn't just made of fat. The soft layer that surrounds our bodies has been found to be, on average, only three quarters fat, with the rest composed of collagen fibers that hold it in place, veins and nerves, as well as blood, muscle and stem and immune cells. So when you pinch an inch, you really aren't pinching that much fat. So much for the caliper measuring test, right? Such findings are based on the latest research still. You have millions of books, so-called fat-busting workouts, exercise equipment, dietary supplements, and of course, 
cosmetic surgeries, which take full advantage of the public's ignorance and desperation to change. Like that, I'm going to break these episodes into smaller segments so that your mind has an opportunity to absorb everything that is being said. I want you to listen to the emotional pain and the voices of some of the following interviewees who have either lost weight or are struggling to do so. I want you to listen to the emotional psychology of weight loss. The fitness between your ears, which is just as important as what you eat or do. Today will be just another day unless you decide today that it won't be. It is Tuesday, January 15, 2019. Happy birthday, Martin. Let's flow. My name is Shana Freed. I'm 36 years old. I'm a personal trainer and life coach in New York City. I struggled with my weight all my life, but I would say I was at my heaviest when I hit almost 300 pounds. I remember myself being a chunky kid, ate a lot of junk food. Exercising was not a big thing in my life. I remember on the inside feeling very disgusted with myself, not being able to go into the normal stores and even being able to wear their extra large. I always tried to go to the gym and tried to get a trainer and tried to lift weights and try to run on the treadmill. I tried everything and it was all difficult. I always hated it. Once I was in that first session with that boxing instructor, I loved doing it. I had so many feelings inside about myself that hitting something was a release for me. In the first two weeks, I lost at least 20 pounds. Today, I work out six times per week, and what those six days will consist of is either boxing, kickboxing, soul cycle, or CrossFit. Shanna's story has inspired me every day to see where she was so many years ago in a body that she was just not happy in and to see her today in a body that she's confident in is just truly incredible. Things that changed for me once I started losing weight and once I hit my goal were things that I never thought of that affected me. One of them was being able to completely cross my legs, trying on pants or trying on shirts that were like two sizes too big. I'm never going to be 110 pounds or 120 pounds, which is something that I thought I needed to be in order to be happy. And the realization and the acceptance that I came to was that I will not be that size 2. And actually, I don't want to be that size 2 because that's not the person I am. Losing weight has inspired me in my career. Making that decision to start my own business in New York City, being a personal trainer and life coach, it was the best decision that I made. Nine, eight. I have been to Shanna's boot camp. It was one of my proudest moments as her good friend, watching her in her element and just seeing her be the woman that we've talked about her becoming and that being a reality. That's been very inspiring to watch because I've seen her take so many steps and be afraid and keep pushing even though she was scared. I definitely was one person that thought that I could never do it, but it definitely is possible. I want to be fit, I want to be healthy and inspire others, and I'm doing that. Now here are my two cents and feel free to keep the change. Shauna started out a few pounds shy of 300. Today, she weighs in around 165 pounds. She didn't do anything magical or mysterious. Truth is, whether it was kickboxing or CrossFit or our high energy rhythm fitness boot camps, anything would have worked for her at that point. But only one thing mattered and that was her level of engagement. Shauna found something that not only worked for her, but more important, she found something she really liked. I can't emphasize that point enough. When you have done little or nothing by way of exercise or diet, everything initially works. The frustration kicks in when what worked initially no longer seems to be working no matter how hard you push yourself to do it. That's because fat is not what you think it is. It certainly isn't what the fitness and health industry wants you to believe it is. What was evident about Shauna's story that was published in Women's Health is the fact that when she found the right trainer in the program and the workout, she immediately connected to it emotionally and her body responded by dropping 20 pounds. Now, I've had this happen with clients way too many times to name, but the emotional component of weight loss has always been something I've discussed with my clients from day one. And it's often one of the most overlooked aspects of losing weight. What I'd also like to highlight about Shauna's journey are 
two things most people probably missed. One, her weight loss didn't happen overnight. I believe it took nearly a year. And two, she was realistic about her body weight, bone structure, genetics, and overall well-being. The fact that she didn't care or aspire to be a size 2 or a certain weight is what I most want you to take away from her story. Everyone isn't built to be a size 2, and thank God there is a diversity of sizes to celebrate in this world. If you've never been a size 2 in your adult life, not just in your life, because you may have been a size 2 when you were 2, then there's little or no chance aside from some major surgery for you to be so. The obsession with size and weight, in particular for women, is precisely why most are stuck. Now, I will be delving into this a lot more in part 2 of this series. I'm also going to talk more specifically about what fat is and the reasons why you're struggling to lose it. See, you're not stuck because you lack the motivation. You're stuck because you lack the knowledge of how to get unstuck. I want to help you with that. Dear friends, I wish above all things that you prosper just as your soul prospers. You've been listening to Urban X Real Talk Fitness Radio with your host, Tiaja. Take a moment and check out our brand new website that approaches your health and fitness from the inside out from a spiritual perspective. It's called Training the Temple, something I believe we all need to do more of in 2019. I will put a link to the website and YouTube channel in the description. Also, please follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Snapchat, as well as all of your other favorite social media. One last thing, show your support by hitting that subscribe button and sharing this podcast with your family and friends or download our app at tiajae.podbean.com. Also check out our YouTube channels titled Tease Universe and its podcast titled Tease Reverse where we bring you all the latest news and current events using spoken word over some outrageous beats and stay tuned for our February lineup of Tease Reverse where I will be hosting with some guests the hot topic about male and female relationships. Do men lie and cheat more or Do women just lie and cheat differently? And is there really such a thing as cheating at all? You'll definitely want to join us for this hot debate coming to Tease Reverse in February. Finally, don't forget to stop through our flagship website at www.urbanxfitness.net where you will find our online stores, the Urban Experience Fit Stores 1 and 2. There you can download our unique home and gym workouts, dietary menus, as well as purchase some remarkably bold teas and spark your own revolution of self-care. Then head over to our small library of my hand-picked, personally endorsed nutritional products products. Got it? Okay, then get it. Until next week, as always, walk in health and peace.